uh, nothing can cool me down like a good motivational juice. So after throwing my tantrum, yelling and swearing a bit, I decided that I still need to continue this. The point is, the second red will not go in there. Period. No matter what I will do, no matter how much I will push whatever, it will not fit in there. Maybe a 240, like until here, that might work, including way more bends than I like to do. And it would just look odd because you had like you have like the space of a 120 millimeter fan which would be empty and that no, I I I won't do that. So we are going to replan the build. It's going to be a single 420 red. That's how it's going to be. I don't like it, but it, it needs to be something and this is the only thing it can be. But okay, in the meantime I also planned a bit ahead, analyzed what I forgot in the last six months and I think I figured it out. Not having that secondary red in the, front, in the top uh, does have something positive to it. First of all, the loop is way simpler. Second, I gained essentially a whole bunch of 90 degree fittings because originally it was planned to everything do with 90 degree fittings and in this case I gained a whole bunch of them. So what I'm now able to do is skip a couple of bands because I can daisy chain a bunch of 90 degree fittings just to like reposition the tube, which is nice and that way I might be able to bend maybe one or two tubes and the all, all the rest will be done with fitting. So that's something positive. But uh, okay, I guess now without throwing another tantrum, let's start with the next step. So at this point we can do two things now. We can either mount the distro plate or the distro plate that is actually a reservoir. Uh, I think the best course of action is to begin with the distro plate uh, because we have the two holes on the on the alpha cool uh, CPU block and we have the in and outs on the distro plate and those two do not align perfectly it's like a, a couple of millimeters off however I want to align those two as much as possible because that's like the longest tube you will be seeing in uh, in this whole loop so I want them to be as straight as possible and then if those two are okay everything else will be adjusted accordingly so that those two are straight. The distro plate should be relatively easy to mount. Yay, ARGB, more ARGB stuff. It should be just, yeah, it's just 120 millimeter hole spacing. That's pretty easy. And we have a closing thingy for the drain slash fill port. And as I said, I think I said it in the first video, it's like, it's so stupid, but the ARGB cable is supposed to be mounted on this edge and this will now well, let's put it in immediately and now we have this cable dangling there and I'm not oriented orienting it the wrong way because it still says fandex in the bottom and I want that to be straight it, it, it just doesn't make any sense okay and now before I completely block this off we need to somehow make sure that the holes here and here align somewhat and my best idea to do so is take one of those wrong tubes take one of these cut it to some random length that I determine just by eye measuring mount one of those 16 fittings uh, manual yeah, CPU out is the second one, which would be here. And then just stick the tube in. Come on, go in. Okay, and now we can somewhat eye measure it. Wow, this looks already pretty straight. Okay, so let's hard mount this one. And then we can remove the tube again. Okay, first port is in. Now, the next point is the reservoir pump combo. Uh, of course we first need to mount the pump with those fat ass screws here. Okay, so the orientation is pretty much not important. I would just let the cables exit in the bottom and make sure that the o-ring uh, sits nice and flush because it's, it doesn't really want to do that. Like this. However, we have now two different sets of screws. The one from Alpha Cool and the one from Fantex and because I'm not drilling this into a solid piece of I don't know what I would just prefer to use the ones provided by Fantex. It just seems like they should not be able to be too long in this case. 
a few inches later. Okay, um, this particular piece has a bunch of holes. We have the, the inlet and outlet, then we have a drain port here, a drain port here, and essentially a, a, a fill port or a drain port depending on the orientation up there. You could also not use the inlet that is coming from here and use it from here because it, it goes into the same loop. No, there is something wrong. Yeah, here is the inlet, sorry. This is the inlet, but you could also use the inlet up here because it, it goes into the same like route no, uh, later on, so it doesn't really matter. But I will be using those two here. I could be using those, I could be using this one, no matter what I want to do, but I'm going to use these two here. Now, for this particular piece, Fantex also includes a whole bunch of ARGB, because you know how it is nowadays. And again, this miniature connector that will just break. Oh, I hate those, but okay. And this essentially goes right into this bracket, and this whole thing then mounts down to this one. So it's it's rather easy until you have 120mm holes and 140mm holes. So you can mount them to fans, which is nice. And I, we will use that, uh, which I, and I realized that I, I shouldn't have like pre-mounted all of the fans, but I mean, it is what it is. So I can essentially pre-position everything somewhat like this. I don't think those are the right screws, are they? No, they are. And then the two long ones Okay, perfect. Okay, now this whole thing can be mounted using a variety of different orientations. I could have also, you know, like mounted like, like this, but that would be really hideous. What I'm trying to do is something along this line. However, I wanted to push the thing as much to the top as possible because I can essentially align the inlet and outlet with the height of the, the GPU water block. And that's what I'm trying to do because that takes away so many bends and makes stuff so much easier. So now I can see that I still need to push it down a bit because it sticks out. But other than that, we are close to finished. Yeah, this looks about right. And although Fantex provides you with screw, like like the fan screws to mount those, because I have like those radiator screws, I need to, you know, use them. But that's okay. It just requires me to take out all of the screws. thought this was a good mounting approach. Yes. Okay, with that done, we are essentially down to the GPU and then waiting. And here we have that PCIe Gen 4 riser that Fantex provided. Thank you again for that. And we have that 90 degree mounting bracket in the bottom. Nothing too crazy about this part. It basically just screws in and it's done. I need to push this one up to get the GPU in, which is kind of stupid, but I can't do anything about that one. Like this, and we are essentially done, I believe. I mean, this does look pretty neat, I must say. And now you can see what I meant before, without losing all of my other fittings, please. What I can do now is route one tube like straight into here, 90 degree fittings here, then yeah, that's basically enough. Just a 90 degree fitting and then in there, done. And the GPU is, is made. Uh, this one should be going right here. So we have, oh, uh, look how well all of this works. I can, I can do a 90 degree fitting here. A, uh, here I need to do it. This is the point. Here I can do a 90 degree fitting, right? But it will end up somewhere like, like here. So from this port I can do a 90 degree and then another 90 degree to like push it out and then I can go into the GPU. And then from here, 190 to go to there. From here we can do like the straight line to the fill port, which is all at the top. 
Oh yeah, that's the one that I need to, uh, the one bend that I need to do. So I can do like a 90 degree up, then I need to do a bend and then into this one here. This is like the longest run, I believe. And then the CPU, the CPU, and we are basically done. <sighs> okay, this whole project is taking much longer than I kind of expected. But yeah, I think for today, it's for today, it's the only thing I, I was able to do. Uh, now it's just waiting for the tubes. It will probably take like three or four more days, which is amazing. But yeah, if you haven't watched the older videos, have a look at them. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.